Well, hey, hey there, Jennifer speaking here. So for this week's weekly insight, tips, strategies, and inspiration, I decided to make a video for you instead of share written content. And this week's video is all about mending your mitochondria. So mitochondria, the energy powerhouses of our cells, are at the core of health, energy, brain function, metabolism, immune function, and longevity. Because of this, it is indeed in our best interest to take care of them the best we can throughout our lifespans. Having said this, it's important to know that mitochondria have two primary roles. The first is to produce cellular energy in the form of ATP, and the second is to scan one's environment for threats both inside and outside of the body. Threats are factors such as, but not limited to, dietary inflammatory triggers, environmental toxins, psychological distress, gut imbalances, chronic stealth infections, lack of sleep, and even stressful personality patterns such as perfectionism and overachieving. When they, the mitochondria that is, perceive threats, they begin to shift away from energy producing mode and more towards cellular defense mode. This is known as cell danger response. On the short term, such as during a bout of the flu, a bad cold, or even pneumonia, cell danger response is necessary, useful, and life-saving. Without it, common everyday germs would easily take over our bodies and could easily lead to death. When cell danger response mode is chronically activated, however, the body and mind can often get stuck in a vicious stress pain illness cycle. Chronic cell danger response goes hand in hand with complex invisible illnesses such as, but not limited to, chronic Lyme, mold illness, fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue syndrome, mast cell activation syndromes, chronic inflammatory response syndromes, autoimmunity, and the list goes on. When it comes to shutting off the chronic cell danger response alarm and rebooting mitochondrial health, there are of course many factors to identify and address, which is where it becomes helpful and often necessary to work with a qualified functional-minded health practitioner that looks at root cause resolution versus symptom management. But most important of all is to begin with lifestyle interventions. The reason being is that without first addressing lifestyle factors that are triggering chronic cell danger response mode to happen in the first place, all efforts to shift mitochondria from defense to energy producing mode will likely be futile and thus a waste of one's time, money, and energy. This said, here are 12 lifestyle interventions that your mitochondria need from you. Number one, reset your circadian clock. Of all the cell danger response triggers that exist, lack of restorative sleep is definitely at the top of the list. And at the top of the list of things that throw one's circadian clock out of whack are blue light toxicities at night and lack of natural sunlight during the day, particularly morning sunlight. This said, I encourage you to aim to get at least 15 minutes of natural sunlight exposure each morning within the first hour of waking and significantly reduce blue light exposure coming from tech devices and other screens at least two hours before bedtime at night. Number two, make self-care, mindfulness, and stress reduction a part of each day to some degree, if only for just five to 10 minutes to start. I've come to learn that the healthiest, most stable, and happiest people in this world are those that make it a priority to replenish their physical, mental, and emotional energy each day. Number three, remove inflammatory foods and food intolerances. This may call for doing an elimination diet for a temporary period of time and then slowly reintroducing foods to gauge which ones are most problematic for you. Number four, Eat organic and grass-fed whenever possible. Number five, drink plenty of purified, purified water. I use and highly recommend a water filtration system from a company called Pure Effects. Number six, limit or preferably eliminate altogether destructive lifestyle habits such as smoking, drugs, alcohol, and more. This becomes especially necessary if one is suffering from chronic health challenges. One cannot heal and harm the body simultaneously. 
Number seven, do regular breath check-ins throughout the day to make sure you are breathing deep into your diaphragm versus shallowly into your chest. Mitochondria need plenty of oxygen to function optimally and improper breathing, which is super common for many people these days, will undoubtedly deplete the body of necessary oxygen and serve as a stress trigger for the mitochondria and the brain. Number eight, ditch cookware full of toxic chemicals such as Teflon, aluminum, and nickel. Number nine, ditch toxic personal care and household products. You can learn more about all this at www.ewg.org forward slash skin deep. Number 10, get healthy levels of movement each day. Walking and stretching are great. Number 11, cultivate a healthy relationship with technology and reduce electromagnetic frequency exposure coming from tech as often as possible. And lastly, spend time outside in nature as often as possible preferably every day, if only for just 10 minutes to start. If you're still struggling with low energy, brain fog, and other bothersome health issues after implementing these simple lifestyle interventions, it may be time for a deeper level investigation and intervention. This said, that's a wrap for this week's Insight video. I hope you enjoyed it and found value within. Coming up next week, I will be sharing my top four supplements, and biohacks for mitochondrial repair. Until then, I wish you a wonderful rest of your day and a great and restful weekend.